This used to be my parents' bakery. One day, Pete Rosenblum went back to the Coops, the place where he grew up. Pete, how are you? How are you, Pete? <laughs> I'm good warm. to see you. Ah. Did you lose weight? You no, lose I'm weight. shrinking. <laughs> no. Yes. We were all shrinking. I, I know. But that's the Pete and his friends had an unusual childhood. There's certain people that think that when we were five, six, seven years old, that we were going to conquer the world. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> That's why they built these buildings for the headquarters for us. Yeah, but we they didn't know it at the time. No, they didn't tell us that we, <laughs> were, expected, us. That we were expected to conquer the world. But they yeah. set it up, you know, this was going to be the, the main headquarters. Who would build a house to conquer the world? When I was little, I assumed that the whole world was communist. And, uh, and certainly, the whole world was Jewish. These were garment workers. They were so gutsy to think that they could build an apartment house for 700 families. From this apartment house, they planned to make a revolution. What would bother my parents about living in America was this sense of being servants to somebody else. I think that what they felt here was that they were the owners of both their apartment and of their faith, of what happened to them. This is all an experiment. The people that started the experiment thought we'll end up with uh, heaven on earth. 